now this brings us to the meat of our chapter which is really asking the question what is sound so if you were to think of sound as something that travels in the air and reaches your ears you're right now we're going to go into it deeply and ask the question what exactly is sound so let's begin let's take our guitar and let's pluck one of the strings and observe what happens here what do you observe what looks like that what looks like a real really fast oscillation if you were to slow things down right look at what you see you begin to observe that the string goes outwards and reaches a maximum point and when it does that what does it do there is air all around it this little string here in this case goes that way begins to press air together in other words there is a higher density of air in that little pocket next to the string as you can see now what do you observe there's high pressure there right from your understanding of pressure from the previous chapters you know that there's a higher pressure there now what happens to the string immediately the string is going to come back right when it does that what is what is it really doing it's kind of pulling the air behind it which means that there is it's pushed some air and it's come back now which means that in this gap there's going to be less air which is low pressure so in one up and down what the string uh, is really done is that it's compressed some air and it's brought back and it's kept a little bit of air less for some time so high pressure low pressure now what is the string going to do again it's going to create this again but even if it does not do that this high pressure area in other words air push that way what is it going to do it's going to try and push the air on the other side of it even more right so this compression is going to push it a little bit more on that side and that's going to push it more on the other side and this in other words the compression is going to travel along with the rarefaction following it right in other words you push some air that all these balls of air go and hit each other become closely packed they hit the next areas they hit the next areas and so on as you can see so in other words what begins to happen is that this compression it's like it's almost like tak 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 it starts moving through the air i'm showing it to you in one line but you know that's happening as a circle all around because air starts moving in every possible direction it starts getting compressed and rarefacted in all possible directions so there's one compression and one rarefaction traveling in all possible directions so now what we're going to do is that we're going to take the string of the guitar visualize the air parallelly with the slinky as it compresses and gets pulled back and see both as a graph and watch what we observe so the string of the guitar moves upwards compresses air that's equal to somebody pushing the slinky pushing it that way and that's equal to somebody creating a pressure up in the air and that's going to be represented with an with a little peak in the graph as you can see so the pressure peaks and now the string of the guitar is going to get pulled back in other words there's a pressure drop and in this way the slinky is going to get pulled back again so the compression of the slinky has gone a little forward and the spring has gone a little forward but the back is a little more elongated and that in the graph is represented as a down yeah so a trough a crest and a trough so what have we really shown here there's a pressure up and a pressure down and that's the way of visualizing it and this is the way in which you will draw it as a graph now what is going to happen now is it's going to repeat again so you're going to get the string to move forward again so one more compression one more up so you will let this run through time and that's what you will observe right the string compressing and rarefacting the air compressing pushing it back compressing pushing it back so on with the slinky and slow on with the graph the graph is a good way to visualize this rather a very very convenient way to visualize what's happening for us and you can also begin to observe that the graph is actually more suitable more intuitive for a transverse wave right because that's exactly how if you had set up a wave in a string that's exactly how it would have looked right in this case it happens to be what we are observing happen to be what kind of waves that's right longitudinal waves because the particles of air are pushing and they are compressing that way so each particle of air what is it really doing is just moving away from its position and coming back and it's oscillating back and forth about its position this way and the sound itself is moving in the same direction therefore it's a longitudinal wave so longitudinal waves are usually a little difficult to visualize therefore the graph actually gives you more of a transverse representation of it because if you had taken a string and done that that's the graph is how it would have looked but in this case that represents the sound and the slinky both of which are longitudinal waves